Let's make a filter together. We're going to make a very beginner friendly filter that you can make for yourself or your brand. It's going to be a very simple frame changing filter that you can switch off with a screen tap. To start off, you'll need a few things. First, you'll need an art program. I'm going to be using Illustrator, but you can also use Photoshop. Honestly, anything that you can create transparent PNGs with. Second, you'll need Spark AR. I'll put a link down below where you can download it. It's a program developed by Instagram slash Facebook that enables you to create your own filters. To start off, first, let's open up our art program. I created my frames already on Illustrator by creating black shapes on top of a blank artboard. The dimensions are 1080 by 1920 pixels. Let's open up Spark AR. Click new project, blank project. And then I'm going to change my camera to FaceTime HD camera so you can see me. Hello. Let's move this a little bit and then I'm going to exit out of photo booth. First, what you'll want to do is click camera on the left hand side and the plus sign under texture extraction on the right side. Then click add object and search up rectangle. We're gonna call this one frames. And then on the right hand toolbar, click next to width, fill width and fill height. Under materials, click the plus sign and it will create a new material. Let's go ahead and edit that by clicking material zero. I'm going to rename that as frames underscore map. On the right hand toolbar, click flat for standard and with the texture, click camera texture zero. Then go into alpha, click the check mark and then click new animation sequence. And then the animation sequence toolbar should come up and then under texture, click new texture. And we're going to upload the PNGs we made earlier. So we've got one, two, and three. Let's select all of them and open it up. Okay, so you can tell that it's working by our viewport right here. And let's just change the frame per second to one so it's not so distracting. Awesome. All right, after that, we're going to go into the left-hand toolbar again Click Add Object, Rectangle, and we're going to name this Background, or BG. Quick Rosé Break. And then, just like the other rectangle, we're going to go Fill With, Fill Height, and then click the plus sign next to Materials, and create new material. Let's name this guy BG underscore mat. And then with that selected, let's go into the right hand toolbar and click flat for shader type. And let's pick a color. I have been really into like a sagey green lately. So let's do that. Like a, kind of like a spring green, you know? And then we're going to move the BG layer on top of the frames layer. And there you have it. We just made a filter. Say you want the user to change it with a screen tap. This is what you do. Go into animation sequence and click the arrow next to current frame. And that's going to open up our patch editor. And with the patch editor open, right click and search screen tap. Perfect. Let's go into that first arrow and drag and drop. And then the window will come up and search up counter. And then connect that with animation sequence zero. And to test it out, let's go into this hamburger menu right here and click simulate touch. Boom, boom, boom. And we did it. Let's make sure that it is working as it should. We're going to go over to the left hand side test on device, and send it to our Instagram. And there you have it, a screen tapping filter. One that you can change the frames for, and one that you can make 
pretty easily. And one more thing, let's add instructions. So go into device on the left hand toolbar and then on the right under instructions click on tap to change and there you go automatically adding the instruction patches for your filter next is just the publication so after you look on instagram and you're okay with everything go into the left hand side over here and click publish and there just follow all of the instructions for it to be published on your instagram account or your brand's instagram account let me know if you like tutorials like these I absolutely love creating them. Making filters is one of my favorite hobbies. I think it's really cool to create something that people can actually interact with and be a part of. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And I, I hope you had fun creating your own Instagram filter. 